Sie sind gefährlich und erstaunlich flink. Dinosaurier im Film Jurassic Park. Aber wie realistisch sind die Bewegungen der Kreaturen dargestellt? Das erforschen Wissenschaftler der University of California an entfernten Verwandten der Dinosaurier, Geckos und anderen Echsen. So in our lab we're curious about how animals move. And one of the interesting things is that they have tails. And so previously we discovered amazing things that geckos could do with their tails. When they fall from a leaf, they can right themselves, they use it when they're climbing. And so we wondered what happens when they run along the ground or when lizards actually leap into the air. Oh, this guy's getting pretty, pretty feisty too. So the reason why we picked these particular lizards is because we were interested in a, an animal that was good at navigating a lot of different terrains. So the experiment was inspired in part by uh, studies that, that we did in geckos, which are arboreal, they live in the tops of trees and the canopy. But we wanted to see how this kind of behavior could enable locomotion over rough terrain on the ground. We had red-headed African lizards run along a track and actually vault off a box, much like you would see in the Olympics, but instead of landing on the ground, they would move towards a wall and land on the wall with a shelter on top. Oh my God, that was a really good one there. We were curious about what they did with respect to keeping their body stable. When they jumped on the vault, we made it so that sometimes they didn't slip, and they just jumped right to the wall. And other times they slipped and their body would start to rotate forward. And what we discovered was that that energy in rotating forward could be redirected to the tail so they didn't nosedive into the wall and they landed stably. To best understand what the animals were doing, not only did we make a mathematical model, but we made a physical model, a robot. We mimicked what the lizards were doing by having the robot go off a ramp as if it was jumping like the animal. And we had it not use its tail and just crash into the wall. And then we had a controller on it like you would in engineering so that as the body attitude would start to nose down, the tail would compensate to keep it stable. It turns out that one of the first guesses about how tails are used came from a paleontologist over 40 years ago. And he suggested that in theropod dinosaurs, the tails may be used as an active stabilizer. And so we wondered whether or not we could take our data and model a theropod dinosaur like Velociraptor shown here to see how effective a tail might be. We actually compared it then to both the robot and our lizards and found that if it could actually move its tail and it had the muscles capable of doing it, the tail could be even more effective than our lizards. We wondered whether or not the makers of Jurassic Park got it right. So we looked back at the film, and sure enough, there was one scene where Velociraptor jumps from the balcony, and if you look carefully, you'll see it moves its tail in a similar way that we discovered in the lizards.